welcome to an analysis of history question question paper so this is actually we have to discuss history uh, from hun attack onwards till uh, we discuss that mughal empire khurra that means shahjahan on that patch the history questions are there so uh, first question which pair is incorrect option a chalukya pulakeshi second option b chola raja raja option c chahman nahapan option d yadav billam de so uh, first we have discussed the name of dynasty and second name of that appropriate king so chalukya uh, emperor that is pulakeshi second was chalukya emperor so this pair is correctly match we want to find out incorrectly match statement then second chola uh, raja raja chol was one of the chol emperor so this is also match but chahman later this dynasty may be called as chauhan so uh, nahapan was much much more prior to chahman dynasty nahapan was associated with kshara dynasty that is scythian dynasty ruling over uh, western part of india and uh, that's why option c is incorrectly match and yadav dynasty that was ruling over maharashtra that is uh, bhillam dev yadav uh, he is responsible for construction of new fort that is called as devagiri later on it was renamed as daulatabad by mohammed bin tughlaq but prior to that it was called as devagiri so this great fort was constructed by bhillam dev yadav and he shifted his capital from chandwad in nashik to uh, this devagiri so this is also correctly match so option is only c that is the correct answer that means incorrectly match pair now second consider the following statements and select the most appropriate option first statement jitar was the brass coin introduced by allah uddin khilji second tanka was introduced by hasan gambu bahamani and uh, obviously options are both true both false first true and second false or first false and second true now here jitar was a copper coin and many inventors claim that they introduced it out of that the most appropriate answer is uh, iltutmush the second ruler of slave dynasty and therefore uh, it is not alauddin khilji because after slave dynasty this khilji dynasty was there so first option is wrong and second uh, tanka tanka was also uh, introduced by iltutmush only and therefore uh, tanka was introduced by hasan gangu bahamani this statement is also false so as both false option b is correct option third one uh, now everywhere consider the following statement only so first statement miya ki todi was a rag invented by tanse second tanse was contemporary of muhammad bin tughlaq so obviously option 1 is correct that uh, great musician uh, many time he is called as sangeet samrat so he was there in the court of akbar uh, so called nine gems out of that one was tanse so here uh, he introduced this rag uh, whatever the new rag that is set of some uh, uh, that uh, we can say only sur the that the notations that said uh, whatever he introduced he is uh, having many rag introduced as miyaki so here miyaki the name of rag is todi so this is the miyaki todi introduced by tansen statement is true tansen was contemporary of uh, the great emperor akbar and not muhammad bin tughlaq because after muhammad bin tughlaq many dynasties were there like that uh, sayyid dynasty was there lodhi dynasty was there and ultimately that was uh, tughlaq dynasty uh, so uh, here uh, the answer is not uh, contemporary so only one is true second is false so one is true and second is false that means option is c fourth question 
Bhuradeshwar Temple at Tanjavur was built by Rajendra Chol. Second, Virupaksha Temple is situated at Hampi. Now, Bhuradeshwar Temple is uh, in Tanjavur that was built by Raja Raja 1. So, not Rajendra Chol. So, option 1 is false. Uh, but Rajendra Chol constructed a replica of this Bhuradeshwar Temple that is uh, just uh, some 60 70 kilometers just away from this original Bhuradeshwar Temple. He set up new capital there that is called as Gangai Konda Cholapuram. And at Gangai Konda Cholapuram, he constructed a replica of Bhuradeshwar Temple. But that is not as big as Bhuradeshwar Temple, little bit smaller, but replica. But uh, here, as it is mentioned, that Bhuradeshwar Temple at Tanjavur. And so, Raja Raja Chol is right answer, Rajendra Chol is not. So, first statement is false. Virupaksha Temple is situated at Hampi. Yes, the beautiful temple at Hampi. A great temple at Hampi, that is Vijayanagar, that is Virupaksha Temple. So, second is true. So, first is false, second is true. That means option D is right option. Next statement is also considered the following. So, Chol Empire was extended till River Narmada in the north. Second, Chalukya at Vatapipuram faced first Islamic Arab attack over India. Now, first statement is uh, obviously false because Chol Empire was extended till river, at the most we can find out their extent till river Tungabhadra. Okay, but out of that one Chol, that is Rajendra Chol, he marched out till Gangetic Valley. That is, to a certain sort, we have to take revenge that Gupta Empire or Samudra Gupta was attacked South India. To take revenge, something like that, he went till Gangetic Valley and that's why he took title as Gangai Konda Chol. So, uh, extended, the empire was not, but he invaded. And so, first statement is false. Now, second statement, Chalukya of Vatapi Puram. Actually, name of city is Vatapi. There was a giant named as Vatapi. At time of death, he was assassinated. He was killed by Lord Shiva. And at that time, he said that okay, the city will be recognized by your name. And that's why that city is called as Vatapi Puram. So this Vatapi Puram of uh, Chalukya of Vatapi Puram uh, faced first Islamic Arab attack. Say, uh, over a period of nearly 2000 years, Arabs were invaded by other people like Greeks, Romans and all that. But after the establishment of Islam, they started spreading out worldwide. So first attack and second attack was faced. Uh, that was a naval attack. They came by sea route and the attack was completely uprooted by Chalukya Emperor Purakeshi II. But in history, this is not much of the mentioned topic. But Muhammad bin Qasim's attack is much of the mentioned topic. Okay, so uh, first statement is false, but second statement is true. And that's why uh, option is D. Again, consider the following statement. Rana Hamir defeated Jalaluddin Khilji in the battle of Ranthambore. Second, Khilji Empire came to end because of Khushru Khan. Okay, let us consider. Rana Hamir defeated Jalaluddin Khilji. Answer is true. Jalaluddin Khilji, the founder of Khilji dynasty, invaded Ranthambore. He attacked Ranthambore in intention of conquering Ranthambore only. But how they are writing, see the cheating in writing. Uh, they say that uh, Jalaluddin Khilji was quite tender to his men and his uh, Rajputs. The Rana Hamir was killing out many uh, people in uh, Jalaluddin's army and therefore being tender towards his men, he decided to go back. That means he was defeated by Rana Hamir. Second, Khilji Empire came to end because of the name of person we don't know. He was a Gujarati boy. Small boy when taken by Allahuddin Khilji, later on converted to Islam, uh, given name as Hassan. Later on, he was entitled as Khushru Khan. And then he killed 
Mubarak Khan Khilji and took entire empire in his hand by accepting Hindu religion once again. So his name is uh, after accepting Hindu religion, he uh, took name as Nasiruddin, that is protector of the religion. So this is the uh, thing. Khilji uh, Empire came to, uh, came to end because of Kushru Khan's statement is true. So both statements are true. Option is A. Seventh one, again same, consider the following statement. Prithu, the king of Kamarupa, defeated Bhaktiar Khilji. Second, Bhaktiar Khilji is the first ruler of Khilji dynasty. So first thing that uh, uh, in order to explain only I will tell that Bhaktiar Khilji was one of the slave of Muhammad Ghauri. Under leadership of Kutubuddin Aibab, empire was there, but that was still Delhi only. Later on, Bhaktiar Khilji was sent to conquer entire Gangetic Valley, Northern India. And he reached till Kamarupa, that means Assam. There, Ahom tribes were there. Under leadership of Prithu, the king of this Ahom tribe, Bhaktiar Khilji was completely defeated. That's why this territory remains protected from Islamic attack. So Bhaktiar Khilji was defeated, answer is true. Second, Bhaktiar Khilji is the first ruler of Khilji dynasty. No, he was Khilji but not of Khilji dynasty. After Bhaktiar Khilji, many people ruled over this uh, state. Say for example, Iltatmush, uh, then Altunia, and like that, uh, Rajya Sultana, Lastly, Balban. After death of Balban, the dynasty was took over by Jalaluddin Khilji. So, founder of Khilji dynasty as a ruler, that is Jalaluddin Khilji. And so, second option is wrong. So, first is true and second is wrong. That means answer C is right answer. Eighth one, Bhavartha Dipika. Consider the following statement only. Bhavartha Dipika is the famous book written when Khilji dynasty was ruling over Delhi. Second, Bhavartha Dipika is the book written in Marathi language. So, first option that is true, Bhavartha Dipika, uh, but the name is not that popular. But the popular name of this book is Naneshwari. So, Saint Naneshwar, one of the great saints uh, in the Bhakti movement from Maharashtra, uh, he wrote this book. At that time, Khiljis were ruling over Delhi. So, Jalaluddin Khilji was ruling over Delhi. Then onwards, Allahuddin Khilji was ruling over Delhi. At that time, that means Santar Daneshwar, Saint Daneshwar is contemporary of Khilji dynasty. So, first statement is true. And second, as I have said that Bhavartha Dipika is the book written in Marathi language. Answer, yes, this is famous as Daneshwari. But uh, it is surprised to know, it is translation of the great Indian book that is Bhagavad Gita that was written in Sanskrit language. So that Sanskrit book is translated in, uh, translated in Prakrut, that is Marathi language. So this was carried out much, much more before Bible was translated in Europe from Latin to local language, that is German. So uh, this statement is also true. Both statements are true. Option is A. Ninth one, Guru Ramdas established a city named as Amrutsar in Punjab. Now certain names are commonly appearing. In Maharashtra also, there is a saint named as Santa Ramdas. Whereas, uh, he belonging to worshipper of Prabhu Ram. Whereas this uh, Ramadas, that was a guru, that is according to Guru Shishya, that is Sikh Guru, that tradition, the Guru Ramdas, he established uh, Amrutsar city in Punjab. So this is true. The land was at a, given by the great emperor Akbar. And then on that land, uh, that allocated land, the city was established that is called as Amrutsar city. So initially there was a, uh, first they dig out a huge lake uh, that is in Sanskrit. It is called as Sarab. So Amrutsar like that name of that lake was there and then city was established around it. So first statement is true. Second, birthplace of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, 
is at Talabandi, Punjab, that is today's Pakistan. Unfortunately, this statement is true. Why I am saying unfortunately because this place, the great sacred place is right now not there in India. So the birthplace of Guru Nanak Dev Ji is at Talabandi, Punjab territory only. But today that Punjab we have lost in hands of Pakistan. Uh, according to the great freedom fighter Savarkar, uh, he says that all right, we lost it, but we must regain. We have to gain it back and we have to make Akhanda Bharat. So that is a dream given by Veer Savarkar Ji. So we are waiting for that fine day. Uh, anyhow, uh, this is an solving question paper. So first statement is true, second statement is also true. So both true, that means option A is right answer. Tenth question, that is the last. Raja Tarangiri is a famous book written by Raja Raja Chol. Some part, second statement, some part of the Adi Granth includes literature of Saint Namdev Rayekar. Now, first statement let us discuss. Raja Tarangiri is a fantastic book, history book rather, written by Kalhan from Kashmir area. So, uh, this is not written by Raja Raja Chol. So, first statement is false. Some part of Adi Granth, Adi Granth is uh, actually name of book original is Adi Granth, but the book is famous as Guru Granth Sahib. So, this sacred book, some part of that sacred book is written by Saint Namdev. Saint Namdev was originally from Maharashtra, but he enlightened Punjab uh, on Vaishnavism. He was a Vaishnav saint. So, uh, his, uh, some of the stanzas, they are also included in uh, this uh, book that is called as Guru Granth Sahib. So, uh, as first statement is false and second is true, uh, option is D. Thanks for observing this video.